Now on Canada Day, of course, you can see flags everywhere and the country is awash in red and white. But what about during the rest of the year? Canadians are traditionally considered reserved and perhaps even a bit shy about being patriotic. However, the results of a new poll conducted for the Historica Dominion Institute show that that's not the case. And the survey even reveals that some of us are not afraid to make our Canadian pride very permanent. Joining me now to talk more about Canadian attitudes toward our country and its symbols is Jeremy Diamond of the Historica Dominion Institute. Jeremy, great to see you as always. Thanks, and uh, I love polls like this because it says, I'm not the only guy. I'm proud to wear a flag whenever I get the chance. Maybe not in some of the places you guys <laughs> asked about this. Tell us about this. Uh, well, give us the, the, the top line about uh, people displaying the Canadian flag. Yeah, you know, what we wanted to do here is try and gauge, uh, uh, you know, get a feeling on whether or not Canadians are sort of secretly patriotic or really outwardly patriotic. And we were quite surprised with the findings. And we found that it's not only on June 29th or 30th that people pull out the flag and display it for the day and then put it back in the basement on the second or third, about a third of Canadians actually display the flag in their office or their school all year round. Uh, which is really encouraging to the Institute and to this country, I think. But we wanted to try and get a little bit more to think of some non-traditional ways of showing your patriotism. About 20% of Canadians, and it rises to about 40% of under age 55, say they would actually brand themselves with a permanent tattoo of the Canadian flag. Um, and in addition to that, about 60% of Canadians said that they don't think it's disrespectful to show a Canadian flag or a maple leaf on things like underwear. So I think we're breaking the mold a little bit. We're getting out of that reserve kind of feeling of uh, what we think we are as Canadians and saying, you know what, it's okay to get up on the top of a, uh, a roof and shout out that you're proud to be Canadian, especially over Canada Day. And you also found that uh, Canadians do not suffer from flag envy, that we like the maple leaf. That we do like it. We like the maple leaf. We like the Canadian flag. Uh, we like our anthem. So all of these things we asked to kind of get a sense on whether or not people would really feel that, um, you know what, I like the Star Spangled Banner uh, uh, a little bit more than, uh, than O'Canna. I like God Save the Queen a little bit more than O'Canna, but they didn't say that. And a vast majority of Canadians uh, uh, like those things that I've just, uh, I've just said. So it's encouraging, and I don't think it's only Canada Day, but it is an opportunity for us to ask uh, uh, Canadians about what they think about their patriotism, the maple leaf, the flag, all year round. Now, the, the maple leaf, because it's on our flag, is certainly, I think, uh, the symbol that most Canadians would say, aha, that you see the maple leaf, you think Canada. But your poll also said, okay, well, what about some other symbols? What other symbols Canadians identify as being uniquely Canadian? And we found that 59% of Canadians polled said that the maple leaf was the symbol that best represents Canada. But we also had hockey in there. We also had the beaver in there. Um, but what was very surprising to us, even though it was 59%, is that it was the clear-cut winner. And I think you can say that from uh, you know people coming from other countries as new Canadians, those that have been born in this country, have been here for generations, the maple leaf speaks to them. Uh, the ma maple syrup, maple trees, the Canadian flag, the maple leaf is everywhere. And uh, it's nice to have a consensus on a symbol, I think, in this country. Uh, we talk too much about what divides us, Quebec versus rest of Canada, small community over large city. This gives us a sense that maple leaf is tried and true across the country. Well, and, uh, you know, there has been some talk over the last year, as you know, whether or not we ought to replace the maple leaf with the beaver or the polar bear, maple leaf still winning. But we just flashed up that board as well that also said national food, salmon, national drink, beer. Right. That's, the beer, I don't find that surprising. Salmon, maybe. And then, of course, there's a, I, in our family, there's an intense debate over Atlantic or Pacific salmon. I tend to prefer Atlantic salmon. God help me, all those folks on the West Coast. But uh, what did you find out about those things? What we wanted to do is really try and create the quintessential Canadian meal. So we asked food, and, and we split it Atlantic slash Pacific salmon. So uh, not to divide any allegiances, but that was the, uh, uh, the number one. But we had poutine at 20%. 40% of 18 to 35 uh, year old Canadians, 40% said that poutine should be our national food. So I think that alone is encouraging when you're thinking about creating a, a menu of, uh, of uh, Canadian fare. So having Atlantic or Pacific salmon, a side order of poutine, you wash it down with a pint of beer and maybe have some ketchup chips as dessert. I think we created our own Canadian restaurant here, if nothing else. Uh, last quick, when we saw a poll earlier, earlier, or we saw a poll last week, I should say, from uh, a group called Your Country, Your Constitution, that suggested Canadians didn't want to have the Queen as their head of state. You sort of got to this issue on how we feel about our Queen by asking, 
you like to see the Queen on our currency? Yeah, and we found something that surprised me a little bit, that it was about split, about 45-55, 45% uh, of Canadians and then a majority of younger Canadians said that they don't actually think that the traditional symbol of the Queen or the monarchy should be on our money, should be on our stamps, should be displayed in public buildings. So I think we're seeing a turning point, a shift in what these traditional symbols mean to long-time Canadians. And the youngest Canadians are saying, you know what, maybe we should uh, think about how to change that going forward. And in the meantime, give me a nice cold beer. Well, Jeremy Diamond of the Historic and Dominion Institute, happy Canada Day and thank you so much. You as well. Thanks very much.